I have a really, really difficult confession to make and I don't really want to talk about it. I just want to like close my eyes and just pretend that it's not happening. Hello and welcome back to my channel and to my struggle to lose these 20 pounds. It is Monday morning and it's dark out. So I am going to take my vitamin D from, that I bought last week. I really struggled over the weekend because all of the food that I had prepared in advance last Monday was gone. And so I was so snackish that I ended up going out and buying some unhealthy snacks. And what I learned from that is that I really need to have prepared healthy snacks in the fridge pretty much at all times. On that note, I am starting my Monday morning by preparing the snacks. So this week I'm going to use up the leftover cilantro from next week. So I'm making a salad that has tomatoes, red onion, cucumbers, and then cilantro. And then the dressing is just um, pepper and lemon juice. I'm also cutting up some honeydew melon. I got super lucky and I got the best honeydew melon. It is so sweet. It's super good, but I think that means it's going to go bad early. So I'm probably going to try to finish that up within the next few days. And those are going to be my snacks for the week. Overall, I think I've been doing really good. I've just got to tighten it up in a few areas. One is the snacks and the other one is no sugary drinks. So there will be no Starbucks at all this week um, or bubble tea, none of that. It is cold as hell outside, but I am barbecuing because I was really inspired by this sauce. It's called Memories of Sichuan uh, Peanut Satay Sauce. I had no idea what I wanted to make for dinner this week. I was so uninspired, but when I saw this sauce, I thought, you know what I'm going to do is like some barbecue chicken skewers with um, peanut satay sauce on them and then some rice on the side. So that is what I'm making. The skewers are really simple. It's just uh, red and yellow bell peppers and some chicken breast and a little bit of onion. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to barbecue them on the grill and uh, baste them with the sauce as I go. Hey, you can probably hear, but I am super sick. It really just like came out of nowhere. Um, like right after I made the, the skewers, I just like flopped down in bed and I just like couldn't get out of bed for two days. But today I'm, I'm finally able to get up, so I'm gonna go get tested for COVID. Hey, I am back from my COVID test. It was super cold outside and there was a line and actually some people in the line just left because it was so cold and they didn't want to wait. But that was the hardest part of it, the actual test itself, like it was just um, like a cup of water and I just like gargled it and spit it into this test tube and then they're going to let me know in the next 24 to 48 hours if this is just a cold or if it's COVID. Hey, there is no results yet, but I need to eat and get better, so I'm going to make my turkey soup, which I eat even if I'm not sick. It's really healthy and good for you. And I basically just use leftover Thanksgiving turkey. I start with a pot of boiling water and I add in some rice. This is a wild rice blend. And then I add in some chicken stock or chicken bouillon. Next I cut up two carrots and I put those in. And then I cut up some leftover Thanksgiving turkey and add that in. And lastly I just put some paprika and pepper and then I let that boil for about an hour. When the soup is nearly done, then I add in some peas and some frozen spinach. Hey, my COVID test came back negative, so that's such good news. Um, that means as soon as I feel better, I don't have to isolate anymore. I can just go out and live my life. So I'm really hoping I can be better in time for church on Sunday. But for now, it's a beautiful day and it's going to rain tomorrow and the day after. So I'm going to get it together, put on a podcast, and take my dogs for a long walk, which will be the first exercise I have done all week. I just couldn't even get out of bed, so my husband's been doing all of my dog walks for me all week, so I haven't even been out for a walk. So I'm going to go and do some exercise and get some sunlight. I have a really, really difficult confession to make and I don't really want to talk about it. I just want to like 
close my eyes and just pretend that it's not happening but basically all of that salad that I made in the beginning of the video and all of the melon has gone bad in the fridge. I was feeling sick all week and no matter what I did I just didn't want to eat it like I would open the fridge and be like ah next time and I would just go and get some kind of comfort food instead and I wish all I was eating was turkey soup but I really wasn't like I was having bagels with cream cheese and just like comfort food like I just wanted to be comforted by food and that vegetable salad just felt so unappealing all week and now the tomatoes have gone fuzzy and it's just completely inedible. So I have to throw out all of that food. This is the real reason why a lot of my diets fail and I just don't stick to eating healthy for very long because I feel so guilty anytime I throw out produce or fresh fruit, especially meat, oh my God. I just feel so much guilt. And so I go back to eating things that are just in a box or in the freezer because it won't go bad and I don't have to face these emotions that I feel I don't even understand why I feel so bad but I do I feel guilty I feel terrible I feel like I have failed throwing out those vegetables I feel like such a failure and I just I don't know why I feel so strongly about this in my mind everybody else like they can manage to eat everything in their fridge and they don't throw out food or at least they don't throw out large quantities of food right so i just feel like i am so wrong if this happens to me and this is not the first time <sighs> objectively the melon and the salad together probably cost about like ten dollars maybe a touch more but it's not that big of a financial thing it's and I mean in terms of food waste and the world's food waste I know that like this amount of food really doesn't make that much of a difference but I just feel so bad I didn't want to end on a super negative note so I wanted to show you this fake flower arrangement I made with my mother-in-law it's just a Dollarama flowers and we arranged them like this and then I actually painted them as well here is my painting I was doing pretty well with the colors but I ended up messing up the background at the very end but I still had a fun time painting it and it was just like a nice little moment of joy in this week that was kind of awful. I thought maybe I would put the flowers in that corner there of my bathtub. Thanks for watching! I will see you next week and hopefully it will be a much better week.